What's going on guys? Kingly here. Uh, coming at you with another Walking Dead episode. Um, I did read some of your messages in my last episode and you guys were telling me to turn on subtitles so that is exactly what I've done. Uh, it's actually a really good suggestion so thank you to whoever those people were that told me in the uh, comment section below. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying the little series that I have going on right now. Uh, so when we last left off, I believe we were stuck inside of this area here. And we needed to go into the office to get some medicine for... Is it Lily? I think her name was Lily. To get some medicine for her dad because he has heart attack problems. So let's get straight into that. Hi Clem, how's it going? Oh, and we also sent one of our guys... To hey the there. area. Hi. Uh, any word from Glenn? Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Hungry? I'll got you, girl. That. I got you, girl. We should get so, to know each other. um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm fine. <laughs> I just, uh... I'm, I'm good. Right. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. <laughs> She's so cute, well, sit dude. Tight. Okay. So why didn't he say uh, we should get to know each other more? Because that's that's exactly what I clicked on. That's kind of weird. Anyway, whatever. Um. So we need to find some food for Clementine. Because she is quite hungry. Greeting no, cards. I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead cards. Ha <laughs> ha, that's a good one. That's that's a good one. I'll give you that one. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. Alright, whatever. Ooh, energy bar. Here we go. Here we go. Now we're talking. So, dude? Okay, so we need to get some medicine. Oh, another energy bar. Dude, this place is filled with energy bars. Energy bar for days, boys. Let's go. Wait, Clem. There you go. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. You are of welcome. Course. You welcome, Clementine. Clem, Clem. I'm gonna start calling her Clem, Clem. Clem, Clem. Another energy bar, dude. This place is filled with energy bars. Let's go. Let's go. What? Oh, there we go. I was gonna say, why is my guy stuck? Okay, so since I have a lot of energy bars, I should probably, um, since, uh, Duck is pretty upset right now, let's, we just uh, need to get give back him an energy bar. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. You're That's welcome, sweet, dude. Lee. You're welcome. You are very, very welcome. I mean, I'm just trying to get along with everyone here. That's, that's all I really want to do. Don't want any trouble. Alright, let's go inside this office. Hello? There we go. Alive inside. Damn. We shall see. <laughs> that does not look alive at all. <laughs> look at Clementine, she's like, What is going on? I can't. I can't think about them in here. Wait, is this his... Whoa, this... Wait a second, he just said he can't think about them. In here. Does that mean he knows this place? What? What's this? First aid. Let me get to the first aid. We might need some stuff from here. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Ah, okay. Cool. Uh... Look at Alley. This door leads to the back alley. Oh. I knew that. I was just maybe... Yeah, I was thinking maybe there's something in there. Hi, Clem. You look pretty cold, Clem. What's going on? Come on, girl. Toughen up. I ought to clear a path to open in that door. All right, let's try this. Whoa! Oh, my God. What is this? Oh, it's a walking stick. What's that? This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Oh, so this is was his place. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. 
I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Damn. Plus he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. Aww. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. So this is actually um Lee's dad's area. Or family. The Better shop. get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Of course Here you can help, go. Clem. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Yeah, Clem. You don't need anything, right? You don't need anything, right? No. I get hungry a lot. Okay. Aww. Good to know. And you don't have any allergies or anything I should know about, right? No kids have allergies or asthma or just general maladies? My friend Alfred has a peanut allergy. <laughs> but you're cool? I think so. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, here we go. <sighs> All right. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? I mean, I just said my father's, that was my father's stick, so. Let's just move this. What do, what do your parents do? Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor and my dad is an engineer. Whoa. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, mm. um, social studies? Yeah, yeah, like that. I guess. That would make sense. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <sighs> there we go. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Because they're dead? I hope not. It's just complicated. I wouldn't blame them. Mm. Damn. Should I say it's just complicated? I guess. I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. of course. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got in some trouble, but keep that between us. I'm not a bad guy. I killed someone. I got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. She's so cute, dude. Ow! Oh! Ah, oh, shit. You okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. Damn. I guess that first aid is gonna come in handy. I'll find you a bandage. Yeah. Damn. I'm sorry, Clem. Alright, let's find her a bandage. Yep, there we go. Why'd you put it in your pocket? You, she's literally here. You don't need to put that in your pocket. Alright. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> She's so cute, dude. Alright, there we go. She should be alright now. Nice. Alright, um... Lee? Yeah? So, what if my parents come home and I'm not there? Oh, God. They'll find us? I don't think they will. They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Yeah, I Stay guess that could work. Stay close to me until then, okay? Very good. All right, let's see. Door to pharmacy. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're oh, going to help Oh, you serious? To help Larry. Oh yeah, Larry is the guy that was screaming all over the place. I guess you could say that. Okay, I want to get out of here now. How do I get out of here?
There we go. Let's go, Clementine. We've got to get out of here, girl. Right, let's see how he's doing. Oh, let's give her a snack it's bar, not I guess. Much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't You're welcome. It. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. You're from here, what do you think about all this? What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. Exactly. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, Whoa. I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here f when you... When you guys got the pharmacy? Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Damn, that's his parents. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. I mean, he needs to relax. This guy, has got a temper. I'm just I'm not going to say that, to though. Him. Sounds it's good. funny how it's an actual option to, hey to choose. Hey uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Oh, uh, no. Little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, uh, saw yeah. a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. And you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Alright, I guess let's just go then. Um... I can't go that way, can I? Damn. Alright, let's just try go over here. She's she's the one that wants to come, right? You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter. Especially Whoa. one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Damn. You ready to head you out? You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> Alright, this is pretty intense, dude. Okay, so we're at the motel right now. Shit. Get down! Shit. Jesus. Well, that was close. Whew. At least she has a gun, so... We could definitely try getting out of here. One way or another. Did you see that? I sure did. Oh, that's him. Be ready to shoot. Man, I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn. All right, that wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then up there in the corner room, 
I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. Oh, I tried then... to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky no, you. she said now she's bitten. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can't. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. I mean, right, let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Fair enough. If we were in that situation, we would definitely want somebody to help to help us. Uh, it would make a lot of sense, I guess. All right, come on. All right, so there's zombies there. There's zombies there. Any zombies? Nope. There's okay, no zombies. This is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Hmm. Oh shit! Oh my god! I almost got. I was almost about to be seen. I saw one lurking on the other side of that car. What the hell's this? There's pillow. A pillow over there. That's about as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea for it. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Take it. Here we go. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Hmm. Alright, let's run to the truck, I guess. Please don't see me, please don't see me, please don't see me. Oh shit! Alright, we're good, we're good. We're good. Woo! Oh, we can I see. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. Let's see. I wonder if there's anything. I mean, in the Jesus. Oh, dude. I could probably what smash it with that. I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise. And none with pillows. What oh, are you shit. gonna do with that? I Damn it! Really I just clicked the same thing do you have any twice. For getting into cars? Not that was an tools accident. Or making a bunch of noise and none with pillows. Okay, okay, I understand. All right, cool. Damn, I really need that though. Shit. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay oh, right I think he's me. gonna put the pillow over the head and then. There we go. It's silent. That was sick. Shut up, dude. Oh my god. You're gonna get us caught. Whoa. Aha. Let's see what's inside the car. Spark plug. What on earth is that gonna come handy and handy for? Oh, I think I know. Can I close the car door? No. Oh my god. Okay, how do I get out of this? Actually, if I do that. Sparky thing. Spark plug. You should hold on to that. Could come in handy. Yep. Could definitely come in handy. Okay, so that's gonna drop. Oh, there's an axe on the right side. Might be able to that use that. That's awesome. <laughs> okay. What I could do is, um,. Probably use the spark plug on. Wait. Let me see the spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. What? That does not make any sense. 
Oh shit. They heard that. Nope, they didn't. We're good. There's somebody crying in there, dude. There's literally somebody crying in there. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Alright, um. So we have another zombie there. Okay, uh, how do we get to that zombie? Oh, I know. Maybe if we run this way. Okay. Alright. And then. Hmm. If we go slowly behind this guy while he's distracted with the meat. And. Hoppa! Straight in the head. Here we go. Ninja mode. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Okay. Shit, there's another zombie here. Um. Damn. Shit. This is not good. Okay, I think we're good. I mean, I killed them quietly. Alright, we're still going up. We're making progress, man! Don't touch me, you punk ass. How do I get this guy? Shut up. Oh! Damn! Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice pick <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Where'd your weapon go? Now we've got this. Oh, yeah. Doing? Oh yeah, give me that shit. Give me that shit. Two more. That should help. Okay. Let's try let's try this slowly. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay. We'll be right behind you. Alright, sounds good. Woo! Deep breath. Deep breath. Come on. Deep deep breaths. I bet you this is the whole time we're up here and this person's not even gonna open the door. Guaranteed. I don't know why, I just have a feeling that that's gonna happen. Oh, I get wrecked. Oh my. Rad. Ugh. That is disgusting, dude. Oh my god. Is this person even in here? Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Hmm. I don't know if this is a good idea. I honestly don't think this is a good idea. What do you think, Glenn? Whatever, man. Whatever, man. Stop! Just stop! I'm coming out. Okay. No, she's alright. You're hurt. Oh, God. Oh! I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, oh. she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! <laughs> but you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. Damn. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. I don't want that. <laughs> it's not Christian. Please. Just leave me. Please go. Okay, we'll leave. Come with us. We'll get you help. Come with us, and we'll find you some help. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. I don't know oh, if we can whoa, trust whoa. them. Please! I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give her the gun, man. What? You can't give be her the serious. Gun. Do give her. No. 
Do it, god damn it. Do it. Fine. You're all fucking crazy. I've seen what hell is like and it's coming back as one of those things. Damn, I feel so sorry for her. Please don't shoot us. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Damn, please don't okay. shoot me. Oh, I feel like this is a terrible idea. Damn. God bless you. God bless you. All right. God bless you too. Oh. Oh damn! She actually just did it. Shit. Oh, this is a harsh world we're living in right now. Damn. It's just one bullet. What an achievement to unlock. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's episode. It was pretty messed up, Everyone to be honest. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine, and... Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Hmm. Well, I guess that's what we're going to do next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Adios. Peace out, guys. God bless. Bye.